Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to the Medieval Kingdoms mod for Total War Attila. Today we're doing a pike and shot multiplayer battle. Now, this is a replay from a live stream I did uh, on the weekend. And joining me, we have uh, Indie Pride, who is on the right flank, and Overkill Total War, who is just kind of commanding himself. So, the idea behind this was uh, I asked people what they wanted to see, and they all said pike and shot. So we only have pike units and gunpowder units. Now if this is the kind of thing you enjoy, make sure to leave a like and it'd be fantastic, absolutely fantastic, if we could get to 200 likes once again for this episode. So the enemy has found our concealed we decided to split the forces uh, and to kind of make sure it's as even as possible. So we're actually outnumbered by 10 men. But I was the only person that thought it would be a good idea to bring a cannon. So, there we go. <laughs> so it took a little while for the forces to get into position. And we do also have a cavalry. So, I believe I'm playing as France. And then Overkill is playing as Hungary. And I've forgotten who's Indy Pride is playing as. Oh, France also. So, two. It's France versus Hungary in a pike and shot battle for supremacy of Europe. Now, I, during my live stream, I, I played four matches on this mod, and I actually won all four of them, which is <coughs> pretty impressive. World's best title war player. <laughs> this one is extremely close, though, and I've just given it away. Uh, but <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, let's just uh, let's just let's just pretend I didn't say that. So, yeah. Anyway, this is probably the closest battle I fought in the game, uh, in in the live stream, and. Overkill pretty much outmatches my flank in terms of everything. So he outnumbers me, outnumbers me and kind of in every single way. So I didn't really see myself having much of a chance. I was kind of relying on Indie Pride to use his skills to win. So <laughs> here we go. So there are our halberds. So I think I went for more elite infantry than Indie Pride here. So he's got a few kind of basic halberdiers. I went for just the fully plated ones. All the heavily armoured troops. There we go. Bracing for, I guess, a non-existent charge at the minute. So we're kind of just waiting for the time until I can get my cannon in place. So we'll just speed this up a little bit. But I really enjoyed doing that live stream. I haven't really done a live stream whew, since I moved to Canada, really. So it was good to actually get back into it. And Our ally is attacked. the cavalry engagement on the right flank has begun. So these Hungarian knights just do not go down. They, they have a lot of HP. <laughs> so here we go. Cavalry engaging. And I've finally got my cannon. We're ready to fire. Although, uh, oh yeah, there we go. Indy Pride's troops are moving out of the way. Make way for the cannon. Well, they only really get one shot off. So let's fast all this once again. And Overkill is going to start moving towards me. So, my men are almost in range now, so they're going to let off some shot. There we go. And we're taking incoming fire as well. A lot of the shots fall short. We don't take out a lot in the initial engagement. Only five there. Okay. So. I'm not sure if they've already fired. 112, 112, yeah. The cannons didn't really make any kind of difference, so they got off one shot, and, and that was about it. So really, I kind of wasted a load of money on a unit that I shouldn't have really got in the first place. <laughs> so this battle was, I guess it's kind of interesting, because it's kind of a late medieval period, early renaissance. Because we do just have, we have no crossbows. There we go, so they managed to get off another shot. And then I start sending in the halberds to try and keep Overkill at bay. 
<laughs> if the pikes are lowered, they go in. Oh, slow little charger Rooney there. Oh. There we go. They're just basically going to walk into my halberds. Take a little screenshot there. A little cheeky screenshot. And we'll leave them to keep on fighting. So the lines are beginning to engage now. The cavalry has also engaged, but I send a unit of halberds in to help them out because I am outnumbered by a unit in the cavalry engagement. So overkill at this time decided it'd be a good time to fall back. <laughs> and yeah, I'm dealt. I'm, I'm left to deal with the majority of overkill's force. And because he has a lot more units than I do, he manages to get the halberds in amongst my handgunners, which is not good news for them at all. There we go. Falling one by one. And as you can see, my cannon's gone, which is a darn shame. Okay, so yeah, we've still got shots being let off um, by Overkill over here. Both of their channels uh, should be linked in the description as well. I should remember to do that. I have a poor memory sometimes, but I'll, I'll try and remember. So, my flank is pretty much being... Well, it's not going well, I think is the be the correct term. But let's see if I'm going to actually loose any kind of shots here. Not loose? What am I talking about? Fire any shots. Here we go. Oh. Yep. We're cranking. No, we're not. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, Overkill gets his general in, Matthias Rex. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. So, over on this flank, we still have the cavalry engagement going on. And these Hungarian knights are only just starting to go down now, so they've been fighting for that long. But they are dropping like flies now. But Overkill is getting some halberdiers in. I think Indy noticed this and tried to get some cavalry out of there. So, I'm kind of holding them here with my halberds. And uh, my general, I think I actually committed him to try and take down Matthias Rex. So the Count of Anjou versus Matthias Rex. So my centre is holding and it can pretty much hold fairly indefinitely. Although I'm not sure what this guy's doing, he's just... You alright mate? You alright? So I try and get my general out of there and sacrifice a unit of crossbowmen. <laughs> Crossbowmen? What am I talking about? Handgunners. It's pike and shot, Alex. It's pike and shot. I also think I'm starting to get a cold, so I need to try and get this video done before my throat closes up too much. <laughs> the men have thrown down their weapons and are fleeing. So I have more of my men routing now. They really have pushed on this flank and, yeah, just, kept, just routed me utterly. Still got a couple of units, though. Still got a couple of units left in the fight. And we're losing the occasional... Well, we're firing the occasional shot. But the weapons are... You know, very basic medieval. I'm, I'm just basically impressed they've managed to get the animations in, really. It's, it's quite something to see. Okay, well that was a nice shot that we let off there. In the pike and shot. <laughs> Hopefully we'll let off a few more. So we'll take screenshots. I know that probably annoys some of you, but I do enjoy screenshots. <laughs> so the handgunners are trying to hold them, but really I am pretty screwed. But 
We do have Indy winning on this flank now, so he's going to try and send some men to help support me. But really, I've been utterly, utterly routed. So I try and pull back some remaining troops, kind of almost into the woods. Yeah, so I, I, I leg it a little bit. I'm like, nah, 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 I'm not, I'm not sticking around. Oh, it's those volleys by the Hungarians here. They're just pretty devastating. Let's see if they fire off another volley. Oh, I don't think they're my men. <laughs> At least they shouldn't be. But they're almost bracing for Indy's attack. And really, my men are just doing what they can. Shooting from the woods. But I have pretty much been routed. I think my general's on his way out as well. So... In this engagement, I didn't do so well. I wasn't so hot. But as you can see, it's pretty much man for man at the minute. So it's, it's an incredibly close fight. Obviously, I've, I've, I'm dead. Like, I, I, I really don't have that many units left. Uh, Indy's army is still pretty, pretty much intact. We do have a unit of halberdiers over there. Um, but really, he's trying to push in. Help support me where I've actually got units left. I'm still trying to take down Matthias Rex, so it's still the Count versus Matthias. But I think my general is in quite a bit of danger here. So being fired upon by the handgunners, I'm still trying to fire in return. Although I, I think I do also try and fire at their general. Make up your mind, men. So we're still fighting there. Over here, Indy is bringing his cavalry round. So we do have cavalry superiority now. That's pretty much all of Overkill's cavalry has been destroyed. Getting off some good volleys here. Against the halberdiers. Uh, my men still managing to hold a little bit. And there we go, my general has now perished, which will result in my men not having a very nice time anymore. Not that they have throughout the battle. <laughs> so at this point I was like, oh god, we're, 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 we're done. We're done. So my men, pretty much all gone now. I do still have, you know, crossbowmen, but they're about to be taken out here. So yeah, my force is gone. It's up to Indy to win the battle now. Still getting off some very nice shots and very slowly marching his troops towards me. So here we go, still firing off shots. Indy's general is still alive. Indy's cavalry going in wherever he can, pulling them out, going for more charges, keeping them away from the halberdiers, which is really what he needed to do. Still have lots of handgunners here, so Indy's going to keep on firing. As you can see, it's still it could still go anyway. We're actually outnumbered. Yeah, uh, that'll be me. <laughs> yeah, at this stage, it does look very precarious, and only two minutes to go left in the battle, and it looks like you know we we we're done. Though Indy's still getting off some very nice shots. With the handgunners. And as you can see, it's starting to get a bit more even. So we're starting to take down a few more of his men. 
And Indy's still got his cavalry here. These are stunning units. And I think just kind of being under pressure and being threatened from the flank is causing these guys morale. And they're absolutely exhausted. So fighting my men here and in heavy plate, they're just absolutely shattered. And he's still bringing in more men and bringing up the handgunners once again. But a lot of his, uh, a lot of Overkill's men now are breaking. So some cavalry has been trapped down here. Now, for the first time in the battle, we actually outnumber Overkill. So it really does come down to the wire. So, oh, uh, Indy charging in against the handgunners once again. And pretty much all of Overkill's infantry has been routed. So he's only got left his general and a couple of depleted units of cavalry. So if Matthias Rex can fall here, he's going to try and take out the French king. So it's the French King versus Matthias Rex. And there we go. So Overkill's general has fallen. And this is going to cause a chain route to start occurring uh, once Indy gets his troops further on into the battle. As you can see, they're all starting to route. They're all absolutely shattered and exhausted. And with that, we actually ended up winning, which is down to the wire throughout the whole match. I figured once I'd been knocked out, you know, it wasn't looking good but we won. And that was the replay of the battle. I'll just see if it takes me back. There we go. So my handgunners were my best unit my ca my culverin was just terrible <laughs> So Indy had a couple of very nice units that got some very good kills, especially uh, the Grenadine Arms Hungry though most of his units did pretty solidly, except for that unit got like five kills. But overall, they, it's pretty a pretty balanced force. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like on all that jazz. And until next time, everyone, I bid you a very, very good day.